Okay, welcome to the 22nd day of the 80 day distill water fast. It started kind of late right now, so it's gonna be 8. But for some reason today, I was very sleepy after work, so I had to go to sleep. But it's, I believe it's August 11, Monday, August 11, 2014. So I'm walking towards Rite Aid right now. See how much it worked out today on this fast. So, kind of late right now, but I'm going anyhow. Make at least an hour walk right now. For some reason, I've ever, like I said, I was kind of feeling weak and sleepy, so I slept about four hours after work. And so that's the reason why I'm starting late, but I'm still doing it anyhow. We'll see what the missions have to say later on. There we go. Welcome to the Higgy Station. Click next to get going. Are you a guy or a gal? How tall are you? When were you born? So, does this sound like you? Let's check your blood pressure and pulse. Place your left arm in the cup. Turn your palm to the sky. Relax and breathe normally. Press begin to get started. If you'd like to cancel this test at any time, press the red stop button above the screen. Breathe easy. Clear your mind. Nice and relaxed. Excellent. Good job. And we're done. Here are your results. Let's check your weight and body mass index. Sit in the middle of the seat. Place both feet on the bar below. Okay, and uh, like I said, this is the start of the fourth week, very three complete weeks of yesterday. So, as of today, you can see interesting results. I lost one more pound, so down to 191. So, uh, so Monday, now it's the end of the day. I was going to share the Tibetan exercises, but I'll hopefully do it tomorrow or the, or the day after. Mostly on Wednesday. Tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. You know, I'll share with you what's going on, but in any case. But so far, for the beginning of this week, Monday, as of today, I'm down to 191. So the start was 221. So that right now, that's a total of 30 pounds. Okay, so now, as of today, I'm officially out of the obese category. And I'm overweight category now. My body mass index is 29.98, and it's dry to the borderline there of obese. So, but right now, starting with 191, from my height of five foot seven inches, that's uh, considered overweight category. So, on the third week, on the fourth week, starting on the overweight category, that's pretty good. Praise God, you know. But I guess the glory for all this. 
Uh, so all this has been happening, you know. So, so far, I, I've stayed focused. And one of the reasons I like to videotape this because this is my way of making myself accountable, you know, by videotaping and uh, uploading it to YouTube. I know a few people are, are, are view again, you know, but my main concern is so that I have something to be accountable every day. So that's one of the reasons it helps me to focus on my goal. You know, so that's one of the reasons I videotape it too. Uh, besides, I think other people that might be trying to do something like this might get, might learn something from it. You know, like I say, I've been doing fast for quite a while, so this is not the first year. And to undertake this task of doing an 80-day fast, you know, is uh, it's quite big. So I'm depending on the grace of God alone here. I, I've done fast in different 40-day fast now, sim various 40-day fast. And uh, I share something else with you also, you know. This will help if you are not married especially. You know, I done fast in which uh, the Bible recommends that, you know, and not to have intimacy during the moments of fast. But do you agree, if you are a husband and a wife, then to come in agreement as to the time of prayer and fast, that you're going to be dedicated just for that. And that means that there's not going to be any ejaculation, you know. You're not going to be engaged in any sexual activity. You're just going to focus. Uh, you know, upon whatever the Lord has laid upon your heart, if it's a spiritual fast, so you don't, you know, you want to focus on that to get intimacy with your Lord, for Him to, you know, make you understand His will in whatever area it is that, you know, He's pulling your mind or your heart to. But that's basically what, but I, I found out that those fasts in which ejaculation is avoided, those are the most successful ones. And I wasn't, you know, I'm single, so this is kind of easy for me, but I uh, have 21 days right now, and I have, a, by the grace of God, I have avoided any kind of ejaculation, you know, so for some reason, I don't know if that is working out so good, but you know, so I'm going to stick to it as long as I can on this one then, you know, because I'm telling you this, I tried it, I tried fasting before, uh, I, and the first fast I did was 40 days fast there was no ejaculation of any kind and the weight was dropping like this even similar to what how it's happening right now and uh, so I don't know you know there's gotta be something related to that spiritually I think uh, because even the people in the Bible that went to war that did not engage in sexual activity so there's something I guess in which when you do those things I think the grace of God I believe takes over you know he's the one that does the fighting for you he does all the conquering, I guess, because, you know, he's the one that you have called upon to be your strength. And the, believe me, from the very beginning, you noted my intro, I was calling on him to be my strength. And so far, he sustained me. And I feel like right now it's been a breeze to go through this. I mean, I was having some gassy problems at the beginning. The first two couple of weeks, you you know, I shared that with you, but that seems to be gone. My Tibetan exercises are working great. You know, I feel very comfortable with this. I don't feel weak in any way. You know, and what can I say? You know, I'm just very content with the way the work is work, the way the Lord is working it out. It's just awesome, you know. So, 22 days, 30 pounds have been lost. You know, and like I say, it, my the emphasis on my fast. Some people that are listening uh, is that it's mostly what I'm going to be taking in is going to be the still water. The still water is another word for pure water. And pure water, the still water, that's what it means by this meaning of the words of water that is not quiet, it's not attached to any mineral. So when you drink mineral water or any water, you know, flavor water, anything, it's attached to mineral, inorganic minerals that is. And therefore, does not go into your system and flush anything out because it's attached to something already. You know, uh, pure water has negative ions, you know. And anything in your body that's not, not supposed to be there has a positive ion. And so what happens is like a magnet. When the still water, pure water goes into your system, it attaches to the positive ion. So any inorganic uh, minerals that are in there are flushed out. But if you're getting your organic minerals from the skin of grapes, which is one of the things I eat, reason I eat grapes because it has all minerals and salts that your body needs. And uh, so those stay in your system. Those are not taken out because they also have uh, a negative ion. So that's one of the things to still, to stick with the still water. The still water does that, so it helps 
getting rid of all the toxins in your body. You know, so, and also fruits have distilled water in them. You know, so what the fruits I'm eating at this time are grapes, and mostly are red grapes or black skin grapes. Uh, those are the ones that have the best uh, minerals and salts in the skin. And also, you know, there's figs. Figs this season in my routes, in my walking routes. So I pick up the ones that I found in my route. I didn't get any today. It was kind of dark. But today's been mostly water, distilled water, and grapes. And even yesterday, I'll tell you, yesterday was there was a lot of leftover food from the weekend party. And yesterday I had like about 10 ounces of food yesterday. I had some, uh, some chicken, uh, roasted chicken that is, and uh, some hamburger, half a hamburger patty. And uh, let me see what else I had. And a little bit of a macaroni salad, so total about 10 ounces. So I did eat, eat yesterday, but in spite of that, see, I'm avoiding bread. I tell you, wheat is then one thing. Avoid wheat because wheat, the wheat, modern wheat does not let you lose weight. You know, especially whole grain wheat. Any kind of wheat does not. So that's one of the reasons why I think that I'm continuing to drop the weight is because I'm completely not using any wheat at all during all this time. And I find out that even when I do what is called cheating, you know, like I did yesterday, you know, still the body is able to lose. So awesome, you know. So in any case, but today I stick, I stuck to just the still water and that's by the grace of God I continue to be there. But it's a victory so far to the Lord. So these are things I share with you because I know, you know, some of you are keeping track of this. So I hope this will be helpful, you know, or give you ideas. So, you know, the benefits that you can expect to get from sticking to something like this. But praise God, I thank Him for this. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen this week. I'm really looking forward to what the Lord is doing. So God bless and I'll keep you posted.